Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Honest Apart with me, Ashton McAllister. And me, Matthew Haley. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> what happened there? What does that mean? I don't know. Oh, ghost. Was a ghost. The, the mic moves. The mic swang just swang. Me. That was pretty much it. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Do not sing. I know, it's coming closer. I wanted to like, just love me. <laughs> Hello. Uh, welcome to another episode of Honest Pod. We've episode done this. number, you need to say yeah. Oh, yeah. This is episode 68. 68. The age I looked today after such a crazy night last night. Yeah, what time did you get home, you said? I got in the house at about 7 this morning. Oh, my God. Crawled into bed and then woke up at 12. I mean, this kind of ties into like what I want to speak about. This is what's stuck. Um, <laughs> like the microphone. <laughs> yeah. Um, but you think it's perfectly okay to carry on with orgies in this day and age? That's the I'm... question. You're like, fuck it, I will continue my <laughs> sex craved parties. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. <laughs> when you've got to go, you've got to go, you right? Need to, bro. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Obviously, 100%, I was not at this. Not that I'm shaming anyone who does sex parties, but that's just not what that was not what I was doing last night. I mean, I definitely would. Well, not going to talk about it now. Oh. Um, do you know what? And I, I probably shouldn't say this. I said so fucking horny today. Like, it's not even funny. Um, oh, and I'm we were on the train back. Really nauseous. <laughs> and I was even thinking, and I was just messaging, and, <clears> and I was like, all I could think about the train is like, could we just go in the car and do it? Because I'm, and but I would never do that. I don't think I ever would. I love how you started as like, I don't think we should talk about this right now, but we will anyway. You now I'm talking about the actual orgies thing. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, but oh. we didn't just just put it out there. Next time, maybe. maybe. I don't know if I can do like um, public. Even though it's not public, but like, I, I think did I say it on the the I thing we've talked? I think we've last week. Yeah, think we've yeah, about that guy because like now it's not really, like, you know, I, I don't know. I can't do it with nerves. I would definitely have to have Viagra. But, um, yeah, no, I don't know if I could. I don't know if I could with, like, the noise and stuff. Yeah. I don't mind noise in my house, like, because um, he's really, like, any sort of noise I make or he makes, he's literally covering my mouth to stop whatever. Is it okay if you're talking about this on you? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, well. Anyway, end of story. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Um, how was your week, Ashley? My week was all right. Work's busy. <clears throat> corona, Corona, Corona. It's fun. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's done the opposite to mine. Mine has been quieter because of it. Everything we're doing basically has to stop. Oh wow! Yeah, mine's just, mine's just busier because all of our events that we're planning are now getting cancelled. Oh yeah, because we work. I work with kids in schools, and obviously for health and safety reasons, kids, schools are pulling out. Mm. Um, I mean, people saying that kids don't get the effects of they don't the virus. So they still get the virus, though. Um, and the, I think the fear is that obviously, oh, pardon me. Um, kids in schools, germs everywhere. Like one kid will lick his toy, pass it to this other kid, so the germs will get around anyway. Their grubby little fingers go everywhere, and then they're going to go back and meet their grandparents and meet their parents mm. and more susceptible people. So it is more of of that's the fear, and uh, like you know. We, I wrote, anytime you go to school, there's always like, if one kid gets head lice, they all get head lice, do you know what I mean? Cause you get all... head lice in school. I had head lice when I was younger, yeah. I never had them. My hair was always too short, I think. It's always the white people. Maybe it's different. Maybe they don't go into because your, your hair is different. Yeah, but yeah. I don't know. I, I always thought it was a leg thing, isn't it? They're going to like shorter hair, apparently. Maybe. It's, they don't go into dirty hair. Okay. That's <laughs> <laughs> 100% fact. It was always the dirty kids that had it, though. No, it's their clean kids. No. Nah, you just thought they were dirty because they had them. Probably. But they're home and they're, yeah, it's clean. Go and clean and clean air. Go back to the kids, though. And I don't know, because where was it the weekend? Oh, you're scratching your head. Ah, oh, you've got fleas. You know, I'm too fidgety. You know, you're not supposed to touch your face and stuff. Oh, my hands. God. I literally yeah. constantly. And obviously, I chew my fingers and at the moment I'm doing it worse than ever, which is really bad. Well, I heard, here's some, um, here's some good advice, actually. If you're struggling to know what to do health and safety wise for um for corona, so you don't have to touch the taps that you want to wash your hands with, turn the taps on off your mouth. Who said this? I'm just saying that's what you do. You can 
So you turn the tab on of your mouth. So you have to keep your hands clean. Um, that doesn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> you should. You're trying to avoid your mouth. You should use your teeth to get the bits of dirt out from behind your This is not true. I don't know what you're saying, but none of this is. You're literally checking your phone as if an article said this. No, no, no. And it's, it, it's a joke. Oh. <laughs> and you should um, dry your hands on children's hair. Oh, I saw that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're like. No, you can't. You're supposed to keep them... Of course you're not going to... People, please do not. I'm not a healthcare professional. So my advice of turning taps on with your mouth is fictitious. Um, this child, this parent, I don't know if I... Because I'm not a parent, and I don't know. I feel like um, if I was in this position, I wouldn't have the mental capacity or wants to post this online. But I saw someone on their Twitter, they were like chronicling their child having these like respiratory issues. And then they were like, oh, people, is this corona... Is this the virus... And then another one being like, oh, I don't know if I should call the doctor because I can't get through to them. And she kept on taking videos of her child who was like breathing really heavy and stuff. And I was like, I feel like she'd be in like mad panic mode and not be like posting this on Twitter. <laughs> Millennials. Um, but then um, <clears throat> one of those bins I was with this weekend, she said like, oh, a friend of theirs used to have like fits and the doctor said film that. So I guess in that situation you would go into that mode. But yeah, to like just film and then post on Twitter your child not breathing, I thought it was a bit like... I think to me... I can understand them filming the fits and things like that because if you're not, by the time you get to medical care, the fit's going to be over. So yeah. it's good to have something that the doctors That's can see. That's what the doctor said, yeah. Yeah. Um, but to put it on social is like you're almost, to me, you want to get distracted by what's happening on social when you should be focusing on your kid that's yeah. struggling it's with It's a bit brain. of attention seeking, isn't it? Even if it is like, I don't know, because I guess there's an element where you're supposed to be like, oh, you know, watch out for this. Mm. But say if your child, you know, God forbid, something did happen that was quite serious, mm. would you? post that do you know what I mean like how are you not focusing on what's happening I don't know it's, I just find it really strange uh, I find social media I'm I'm starting to I'm, as much as I love it I'm starting to fall out of love of it like people are just so they just want the attention yeah and they go to desperate lengths to get it these days like take the top off you mean thirsty yeah yeah I saw on Instagram because I really get these sort of things like my Twitter's really just turned into porn at this point in time Every time I open it, it's just naked men everywhere. Mm. Um, which is good because they're not people I follow. Because one time I did follow one or two. And then I literally would open up my Twitter and it would be like actual sex. People you may know. <laughs> and you know how like, Twitter like, tells yeah. everyone what you like. Every single oh person you know. God. So go, you know, you're like, oh, this is hot. Let me like it. Everybody knows you like this porn video. Like, oh, God, yeah. for fuck's <laughs> sake. Oh, there's a, there's a, we have a friend who you know. And he was... Um, we were in a group chat. <laughs> anyway... We he had somebody posted on Twitter that they were in a certain area of London and they were really horny for a threesome. No, <laughs> and my friend wrote back, "Which area of London are you in?" Question mark. Obviously thinking it was private, <laughs> <laughs> and obviously Twitter being Twitter, it, it came up, I logged in. They showed me. I screen grabbed it, sent it to another one of the friends in the same group. You're naughty. <laughs> and then in the group chat that we were all in, we wrote back and said, oh, does anybody know this person? And then we're like, what? No. I was like, who is it? I was like, oh, just curious. And then we went back on and the guy deleted his tweet back to which area. And we're like, oh, No, good. Yeah. That's funny. No, it's, it's weird like that. I don't know why it does that. It's so annoying. It's so annoying. Um, but I seem to follow people that like a lot of porn. So that's the key now. Do it like by two people separation. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So you, so you're like, yeah, yeah. So you follow people who are like gateways. Yeah, 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 yeah. Into like all these hot men. Yeah. I don't follow anybody. I just follow this yeah, one yeah. person. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically. <laughs> That's good. And then you know who to go to search for the other thing. That's, yeah. That's smart. Very smart. <laughs> it wasn't on purpose. I just noticed that recently. I started following this guy that I thought was really hot. This guy that lives in Poland. And then um, he just seems to love porn. Oh, porn's really, great. I like porn. Yeah. I really do. I really do. Mm. Um, I thought at one point it was a problem. But... <laughs> Do you ever get overwhelmed? Like, oh my God, what am I going to watch? There's just so many options. No, I tend to just go for like Tin Tales. Oh, what's Tin Tales? Oh, it's really good. Is yeah. It? I've never heard of it. I'm being genuine. I don't know. What really? It yeah. Uh, I, I don't know how to describe it. It's just, um, I just really enjoy it. Show me later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, how was your week? My week was all right. Like it wasn't too busy. Like my my work slows down a lot with it because um, the things that I would normally have to do, I had to stop doing, and then next week will be the same. Mm. Um, but you know, I've started seeing this guy. 
Oh yeah, you've mentioned him a couple of times. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's all very exciting. But, um, I guess it's quite interesting. So, I am no longer officially a single man. Oh, yeah. it's a party in the house today. No. So we had a conversation just about like you know where we're at and stuff like that and what we want. And I guess with Glastonbury being cancelled, I guess your agenda's changed then. Also. Glast- Gl- God, Glastonbury can't be cancelled. I hope it's not. No. Um, well, we had a conversation about that today because, you know, I was like, well, you know, I've never been in like an open relationship and I wouldn't say we're necessarily in an open relationship at this point because, well, he was supposed to go traveling on this Friday, but now he couldn't because he was going to America yeah. and that his, all the conferences and stuff he was going to was canceled. So they canceled his, he canceled his trip. Yeah. But um, why it's been like quite up and down is because we both had ideas that we wanted to be single this year anyway and stuff and, you know, and, and keep what we're doing quite casual. Mm. It turns out I really liked him, so I was a bit like, oh, you know, I can't be mm. too casual. But I was like, we don't need to be, we don't, not that we are, I guess, we don't have to follow what we believe, you know, or, you know, a completely monogamous relationship if that doesn't suit us. Like, I was like, we can have the relationship that we want if we just talk about it and, you know, maybe there was a set of openness. Mm. One of which being like holidays and stuff. But then, and, and when you're away. So he was traveling. So I was traveling, but he hadn't. So I spoke to him today and I was like, what was the decision? Did you come up with like a decision about like what you're going to do while you're away? Um, in the end, because I was quite interested. And I guess it's not his decision. I guess it's our decision, but I also think it's his decision. Um, but he was like, no, at the moment, because <clears> he was just like really happy and stuff. Um, and you know, I was supposed to go on holiday next week, which is now cancelled. But originally, I was like, "Well, if, maybe if I'm going away, I'm able to, you know, you know, be free or play or whatever." But even then, I was like, "I don't really want to." Oh, because it's still in that little place. But yeah, yeah. So now we're like, say the word boyfriend and stuff. Oh, yeah. am I going to buy a hat? Uh, you can buy a hat, but apparently, everyone's wedding's going to be cancelled because Corona. So we're not going to get married this year. I mean, you don't know. No, I don't. <laughs> you're not a lesbian. You don't move that fast. <laughs> um, just to point out guys we are actually re- very oddly pre-recording an episode two weeks in advance this time because we re- pre-recorded two last week <clears throat> we recorded two last week one because we're both away next week yeah and we were going to struggle with you being away this weekend to record two today so at the time we're recording this Corona is I'd say sort of semi hot but by the time the episode might come out, it could be well, things are changing. Disaster, yeah. Um, so at the minute, we're like, I think we're up to twenty-seven deaths in the UK. I think I read that today. It's a lot. Are they all over a certain age? I've not even looked. I guess so they don't really say it, do they? No. Do you know what I want to do? I want to. I want to. I hope at the end of all this that something bigger is done about where it came from. Um, How do people know where it came from? Well, apparently, it's all come from this one food market in China, where they have. Dead animals, live animals, entrails all lying around. Um, and it's obviously in the China, it's the health and safety government and the protocols in China are laxed. And it's all come from that. So somebody's at the wrong bit of pig or something like that. It's so difficult. Like, you know, because I work in hospitality and stuff, and I think like food standards within this country, I think they're very extreme, even though I work in hospitality. Mm. Whereas, like, you know, to the point where, like, touching food, you know, people will like lose their shit over people touching food with their hands. Whereas like you have to make food with your hands, like in my opinion, you have to. Mm. If you're making a wrap, you need to use your hands. Yeah. Right? And then you know, gloves, like you gloves. gloves, but they're not sterile, so mm. like it would make sense to to me, it makes sense to wash your hands. But I think more so, not the actual standards. I think people's behaviours is what I'm, I, I'm saying. I'd say. Yeah. So people are like, you know, how they don't have these things. And I'm like, I don't know. Like, I have to use my hands to make this food. I am, you know, mm. I guess you can't wrap. There's no machine that makes wraps. Not yet. Yeah. Um, that's whereas, like, an idea of an invention for we should look into I remember years ago I went to like a pastry shop it was actually really cute when you think about it we was in the south of France and we had to go on our bikes to mm. the local pastry shop that's 15 minutes away and we were like that's bonjour we were, yeah literally <laughs> bonjour on the bike bonjour my mum is so funny did I tell you when she's on holiday I don't know yeah, what to say so, yeah. but she'll just be like we're in Egypt and then she's <laughs> like hola <laughs> <laughs> I'm in fucking Egypt, you stupid woman. Like, <laughs> we are not in Spain. She's no. like, I don't know, I don't care. Hola, <laughs> bless her. Um, yeah. Mm. Um, but yeah, no, but I'm. I'm excited about being in a relationship. I'm excited for you, but I didn't want to relationship. This plan, the years, this year's plans were 
Enjoy my holidays. Yeah. That's not happening. <laughs> enjoy my work. <laughs> that is definitely not happening. Be single and free like I was last year. That's, That's not, not happening. Man. This fucking year is terrible. This is the worst year yet. Honestly, this was supposed to be the best year after such a great 2019. Mm. I was like, this is going to be it. This is All your be goals it. have changed. Your plans are cancelled. It's mad. It's so annoying. How do you get out of bed in the morning? I don't know. At the moment, with someone putting their hand around and I went into like fumbling in the morning I'm like I've got to go to work oh. I've got to, to go to work Ooh, well let's um... do you know what I did do I'm so sorry yeah um, I went to see Whitney Houston the, the hologram oh yes of course <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I wanted to talk about it because it was fucking weird <laughs> <laughs> um, me and Jordan got me a birthday gift last year and then yeah because we talked about <clears> this <throat> when it came out because when it got announced I was just like would you go to this? And you're like, 100%. No, I, I mean, I didn't say 100%. I said I would for a certain price because I was thinking about, oh, oh yeah, I would yeah. go to this. And I looked at the prices and I'm like, would I pay 50 quid at one? Yeah, the well, we looked at the prices live on the no. show. And then I was like, no, I wouldn't spend that. I would spend like 25, 30 quid. Yeah. Jordan ended up spending 70 quid on these tickets anyway. Bless his heart. I know. Um, and it was so weird. It was, it looked, it was just, yeah. Did it look like Whitney? No. Did it look like a... Anything like Whitney? A little bit. Well, I I thought, what well, what made sense to me is that the hologram would be like, okay, they've got someone to perform as like the person mm. and then did some, you know, computer manipulation to their face. So whoever recorded it maybe had something on, I don't know how mm. things work, but in my head it'd be like, almost like a green screen, like dots and, dots and stuff and then yeah. they would have recreated it. What they did do was just find what they thought was a Whitney Houston lookalike and recorded it and then hologrammed her onto the thing. So there was like no computerizing, really. And then... <laughs> One of them. So like, she's there miming and doing her dance and it's just a Whitney CD playing. Yeah. Yeah. And 75 quid. Isn't it weird? And then she didn't even look like one of them. I was like, that is not even close to looking like her. And Jordan was like, yeah, I noticed it from the start and I was like, I didn't realise. And the person who was doing it, like they could only hide up the mic at their chest, not mm. to their mouth. And the person who did it just seemed to like, really like luster and energy. Like it just wasn't. I didn't expect to get the feels, but mm. I thought, you know, at least, you know, your lip syncing, basically, like, you should yeah. put everything into it. Yeah. So just, like, just so casual, <laughs> you know, in the big notes. Um, it was weird. And then, like, um, at the end, it was kind of weird, like, the figure kind of just, like, dipped into the ground, like, um, like she was on the elevator thinking, or yeah. <laughs> and then just faded halfway through that. Oh. And then it was done. Um, you guys were loving it, though. We were taking a long look. The videos were so funny. And that poor woman behind you. What? Why? Did she just edit here? Joke. She's in the... She's like constantly trying to avoid getting in your video. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Do you see the... No. Oh, my God. Yeah. If you look in the video of you singing, and like when you're held in the selfie mode, there's a woman behind you too. There's two women sat behind you, I think. And one of them is just like... No. And then you're like... Nah, nah, nah. And then she's like... Oh. I did not. She nearly broke that. her neck trying to get out of the shot. Like she loved it, like she was laughing at you. And the other girl sat behind Jordan, the other woman. She was loving it as well. Just oh, really? non-stop laughs. And I was like, oh. It was cute. And there were people like dancing in, in the aisles and stuff and, and things like that. It was quite busy. I happened when I went to Will Young. People were dancing there, all these old ladies dancing up and down the aisles. Yeah. It was just old people in gays there, you say. Yeah. That was a lot of like, but then it was also um a lot of straight men were up and dancing, I would say. Or what I, I assume they were straight, pardon me. But they seemed quite leady. That's um it was fun. It was a fun night. It was just really different. Strange. Isn't it? It's always good to do something different. Yeah, yeah. Talking about doing something different. Um. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> what are you going to say? You're going to talk about a Patreon account. I'm going to talk about a Patreon account. <laughs> massive, massive thanks to um, Alex Greco. One of our very first listeners, I think. Yeah. Yeah, do you remember? I do remember because you you mentioned that you messaged oh he messaged you isn't it and, yeah and you know went to his pride and stuff he went to his very first pride in Canada way back when um, but yeah no he he signed up became a little Patreon thank you very much <clears throat> thank you yeah um, I think his fucking Instagram is so he is funny so funny oh my days it kills me ah oh, makes me laugh so much so much. It is one of the funniest things ever. Yeah, it's really good. I think he's such a weirdo. I bet you he is. I want to see him in person. <laughs> I do. Yeah. Weirdo in a cute way, not like in a... Oh, no, in like a really in cute a, way. Like, everything is funny. He's going to boil you in a bag and, like, not in a weird way. I do what... I have been watching a lot of, like, those kind of shows. Because they are on Netflix, in it? True crime all the time now. Oh, and they're brilliant. I started watching that one... The Trials of Gabriel Fernandez. I stopped halfway, 30 minutes in. 
to the episode. Yeah, it was so, too much. I was, well, I mean, I will watch the game, but I was sitting there hungry, sort of. I was like, oh, this is making me feel sick. What this little kid went through, I was like, oh, it's disgusting. Yeah. One thing that has come up there a lot. Oh no, you've got to. I'm going to say, hang on, I'm going to spoil a little bit for you. Um, at the moment, could you say this? It's all coming back to like gay stuff. There's always this element of homosexuality in all of these. Well, stories. he lived with his gay uncles, didn't he? Yeah, and then apparently, like especially in that time that he was um, really beat up, the parents, well, you know, the, the mum and the boyfriend had been like, "Oh, he's gay." Oh, they thought the kid was gay. Yeah. Right. Okay. And then well, they were like, "Well, why are you saying this? Like, why is this even related?" And then he said that because you hit him because you thought he was gay. But all of these things keep coming up. Is it good? Have you finished it? No, I haven't had much chance. I'm only like episode three. Oh my god. Well, maybe. Looking forward to getting into it. Um, this one's well made because Aaron Hernandez was really poorly made. Aaron Hernandez was a bit of a head fuck, really. He said it makes sense. It jumped from this step. Yeah, yeah, well, this yeah. one, this one's good. This one's really well put together. You sort of, you exhausted yourself of Aaron Hernandez because you were sort of trying to piece it. Pe- you spent more time in your head trying to piece it together like a jigsaw <laughs> yeah, rather yeah. than ha- being able to sit back and relax. They'd be like, oh, it's 2018. And then they'd be like, oh, it's 2004. <laughs> oh, then it's 2012. And you'd be like, can you just do it in the order of time? <laughs> yeah. 2012. Okay. It was 2012. Now we're in 2004 and now it's this. And, uh, what? <laughs> Where do you live now? <laughs> 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 we had to go up on the wall and do a chronicle and say, hold on, yeah. where are we at now? We started doing it in like a police <laughs> yeah. thing. So, yeah. we had to, we're watching the show at the same time. <laughs> we had is, it just, so he's like, is he in prison? Yeah, is yeah. He, no, has he killed four people or two people at this no, point? Is it, okay. uh, we're is, to work it out. Is he gay? Is he not gay? <laughs> <laughs> it was definitely a case for the Scooby gang. Yeah. Um, yeah, Patreon guys. Thank you very much for everyone who's signed up so far. Thank you very much for people who's reached out and asked questions on how to do it. If you're confused, which one person was... <laughs> <laughs> Um, I we laugh because he's he's a friend. Um, if you're confused of how to to sign up to Patreon, you can go to the Patreon dot com website or there's a link on our website. He literally, I think he he was talking to me yesterday. He goes, "I just thought you signed up through the podcast." I'm like, "What? Well, like through Spotify?" <laughs> no. Um, but yeah, obviously, thanks very much for all the support. Go on there, have a little look. Any questions? Give Matt a shout. He's more time than me. He's quiet at work. Next week, all I'm going to do is like, um, yeah, you know when you get to, like a spring clean, just throw things away. Mm. And we do them pretty much a week. Which is good. At home? No, at the... At work. So we have to, normally I'm on site, different sites and I move around. Mm. But I have to base myself one place. So I'm going to do it in the, the bottom of the office. And so, yeah. And I had to cancel everything that I was supposed to do. I was supposed to go to Oxford on Wednesday. I was supposed to go somewhere else on Thursday. I have to cancel all of those things. Which is exciting. Amazing. Should we jump into your things? Okay. Um, so I want to talk about, and it's quite topical that obviously that you had your orgy yesterday. Uh, um, because <clears throat> I didn't have an orgy. Just, for, just let's make that clear. <laughs> Um, but this whole I didn't thing, have any sex yesterday. I didn't either. Because you know when you're at like people's houses, you know, like guests, <laughs> you can't really like. That's the best time to do it. We should have done it. Yeah, you should have. You must have been like, I've got to leave my bag. Should I bring that? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> should you? <laughs> I was like, bring it just in case. Did he? He brought it. He brought it. We didn't use it because we were like really drunk. Yeah, you wouldn't awesome. say. I mean, you, obviously they listen, so you're not gonna. Pardon? They listen, so you're not gonna. Of course, we didn't have sex in your bed. No, she keep meaning to listen. We had to sex on the table. We had sex on the sofa. Um, one thing we did, I was gonna we check because uh, you know, so they're lesbians, and I was like, how oh, do they? I wonder what the like STI rate for lesbians are. It's <gasps> a good question, isn't it? Because everything's always gay men, gay men, gay men everywhere, right? Isn't it? Like, yeah. Isn't it? Um, you know. See, perhaps allowed on... I was just about to yeah. say, I got thank you for that. stealing my thunder. Prep is the first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because when I went to, on the prep trial, the nurse was so, like, I mean, I guess, the, you know, she's an NHS nurse, maybe, you know, things are really hard um, for the NHS in general, shortages, mm. so they might just be, like, cynical and sceptical about everything. <laughs> but she's like, the fucking government. She was, like, she was going in, and she was like, they're never going to pass this thing, they don't want us to have these things for people. It's already free in Scotland, mm. but now in April it's going to be 
um, free as Yay. part of the NHS, which is good. That's awesome. Excellent. When you start having sex, you can go on the prep trial. I'll never have sex again. Ever. Yeah, I'm too scared so of corona. corona. Yeah, corona. Well, this article is in the Guardian, and it's also in the Irish Times. They basically stole it word for word. So I'm like, are they connected? Did um, they? Um, <laughs> did who published it first? Because um, it wouldn't be the first time that English steal something off the Irish. That's all I'm saying. Well, the Irish one was two days ago, and this one was on the 11th of March, and the 11th of March was four days ago. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. So and um, because hands off, sex parties and the spread of coronavirus. Um, I didn't know there was like a famous uh, like sex party in America. No, I read that. It's yeah. like like like, cele- like celebrities and stuff. You know, <laughs> like, apparently, Gwyneth Paltrow went. Of course she did. Allegedly, you know. Of course she I'm sure does. there are celebrities that go to these things, surely. Well, I mean, <clears throat> you go. You would never actually go. But I wouldn't <laughs> mind. Although, because you said, like, someone, a party goer says, like... Um, a, so, a party says, goer. A sex party promoter in the US is still planning to hold orgies in New York and Los Angeles. But sexual contact is an almost guaranteed method of catching the virus. Um, so it's in the New York Post that reports high-end sex party promoters and its sanctum, but it's missing all the vowels. Mm. Um, throwing orgy in Los Angeles this weekend and another in Manhattan um, and Los Angeles currently had at this point 17 confirmed cases of coronavirus so I thought this was quite funny because I feel like because it's men and women in, in, in these parties it's not just a gay one mm. and it says short of putting all the orgy goers in full hazmat suits which you imagine would dampen the mood and I was like the gays would love that Hazmat. No, isn't it? Like seats yeah. and stuff, isn't it? Like masks. Yeah. No, like a subsection of like sort of, you know, fetishy people. Yeah. For that word. Um, Definitely in a fetish group, that. Do you think... So what do you think? Do you think the sex parties and orgy should continue? Um, <clears throat> I mean, I'm biased anyway because I'd say no. But I'd still say no. <laughs> it's just silly. So much germs. I'm a germaphobe as well, so... Uh, I, I just can't get all these people like buying soap as if it's this new invention. I'm, there was like, uh, there was, um, I was, well, I was in Superdrug yesterday and I was buying something and I, I was buying hand, hand wipes actually. And they was a little carton of soap. And honestly, they opened it up and it was boom. Just like, you ever, do you watch, did you watch the David Attenborough show where the lizard crawls through the valley of snakes and all the snakes come out? I swear. That was the people when that when that because that lizard runs on two legs, right? Wasn't he's it? like, do 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 yeah, yeah. um, As soon as that employee brought out that new case of soap, that was people just coming of fucking nooks and crannies and super dog. Anything people could hide in, it just everywhere. It was yeah. I need to go shopping somewhere, but I think people are just this mentality is crazy. Uh, we went to the massive Sainsbury's in Brixton or Vauxhall, wherever it is, yesterday. Not one tinned thing there. Prunes. What about everybody else? Prunes. Prunes. Right. Well, apparently, so, because a doctor says coronavirus itself is not a sexually transmitted disease, but along with toilet roll and hand sanitizer, mm. condoms have all been taken as well. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, it? yeah. yeah. It like, I'm sure in Vauxhall and um, Clapham, all of the condoms were still there. <laughs> <laughs> Condom what? <laughs> yeah, isn't it? Um, well, apparently, that's what I said. A party goer says that at these parties, you don't often get people that there are condoms there, but they're not often used in these parties. Um, but the, yeah, it's, it, is it? I don't think it's transmitted through semen. No, it's apparently it's transmitted through. Um, resp- 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 I can't say the word respiratory. <laughs> I just got a text from Chris White being like, "There's a McDonald's en route to yours." He's ordered it to the wrong uh. place. <laughs> <laughs> So good. <laughs> um, Why does he do this? <laughs> I don't know. Well, I guess sorted. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna order that fish and chips. <clears throat> um, I don't think it'd be available in here. Like it's always a problem. Anyway. Um, but then it says, "Well, coronavirus is supposed to be through like um, like spit particles and like throat." Yeah, throat, through yeah. air. Yeah. Um, so any big group meeting, I guess, would be like that. But I guess in these orgies. You know, it said, like, if you kiss people, well, even if you don't kiss them, you're still in contact with them, like, with your hands and stuff. It yeah. said, like, um, a lot of people are on the all fours, like, touching things as well, so... <laughs> That's what they was described. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, which I thought was really funny as well. <laughs> They're on all fours touching yeah. things. What are they touching, Matt? 
Um, while it would be relatively easy to spot someone at an orgy who is symptomatic, the problem is that many people may not know they have the coronavirus for a while and might feel sprightly enough to venture to a sex party. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's so funny. Um, but we've heard this before, because I think I'd like to go to something like that, but I wouldn't be able to perform, so I'd just watch it would be like a voyeur and stuff. But in these mm. ones, they want men to wear tuxedos and women to wear ball gowns. And masks. That's a, that's a lot of effort. It's like something from Eyes Wide Shut. Did you ever see that Eyes Wide Shut film? No. Nicole Kidman and Tom Cruise. Um, yeah, they, they're they in a relationship and it's really brutal and they do a lot of sex parties. I turned it off because I got bored. Not sex. like literally, it is, nothing happens. Is, is it one of those films where they just try and make it sexy and then suddenly want people to... I, I, I genuinely can't even remember. I remember it opening and watching I thought, there's no nothing happening here and I just turned it off. Um, but it's not just all you need to swerve dating in general might be something to avoid oh my god you're fucked you just started guys. dating someone no but new people oh, well okay. it might be dating is a higher risk of transmission because you tend to have more prolonged contact with the other person you may kiss them hug them or hold their hand for a couple of hours mm. good thing you don't date you just meet for coffees because mm. apparently they're not dates no 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 um, at all no and obviously now I'll just do it in a well ventilated area do it on Skype <laughs> yeah. yeah date on Skype yeah I think it's the way to go I had a I had a I, I, I met somebody this week for a drink it was awful this week yeah why was it awful well to me it was what day what day was it Tuesday I think someone new someone new yeah I never met before um, the pictures online did not match the person that showed up like I'm not even to like a little bit of weight gain or weight loss or something like that it was his pictures on night had like really short hair and he showed up and it was long bleach blonde hair combed over to the side. That sounds hot. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Did I tell you before that I was really into guys with long hair when I was like a teenager? No, you never said this. Like sh- like shoulder length, like He-Man hair. Like I was yeah. like, I love it. <gasps> he looked like He-Man? No, he didn't look anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> he was too muscly. <laughs> you never say. It's not anything I ever say. Um, you do like bald guys. <clears throat> I don't like bald I I like I don't yeah they're not a type but I don't find something unattractive if they have no hair I was really bad for that like people would take pictures and they crop it here mm. like, oh, just so fit then they take another picture and then they show I say, I'm sorry I say here I'm doing just like above my eyes yeah <laughs> sorry and then um good I need to get the McDonald's <laughs> oh is it McDonald's <laughs> <laughs> can you pause it or something no that's fine we're back in a second um you sing Huh? Put us on hold and sing. Hell, oh, I could do my Whitney Houston. Yeah, go for it. I don't really need to look very much further. Hi there, what is this? Like, not here. Yeah, there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no worries, I'll just text. Alright, thank you. Um, well, I'll pretend that Ashley's here. So then they'll send a picture and they'll take it and it will show their head and they've got like no hair and it's really bad. I'd be like, nope, I can't see them. And you know that bitch is feeding the 5,000 of There this. is a lot of food! Jesus Christ. <laughs> Chris, you if you're have listening, fries, can you? I can have McDonald's fries, but I probably won't eat them. I'm, yeah, I'm on a diet. There's so much food. <laughs> what the fuck is he doing for that? Um, <laughs> anyway, this is so funny. Yes! <laughs> this is so exciting. Well, I'm still getting fish and chips. Yeah, yeah. I would have had that. I did have KFC earlier because I really wanted one. I just, yeah. Um, anyway, how was your date? <laughs> oh, yeah, it was just, I mean, <clears throat> pardon me, first of all, we showed up, and I wasn't feeling the hair. But, you know, I said, you know what, I can cut it some nightly sleeping, just, you know, it off. Because um, he's handsome, he's a handsome guy. But then I think as it went on, I, he was cle- I don't think he was into me at all. Um, Even when you were holding hands for a prolonged period of time? I wouldn't touch him with the corona. What, with corona? Touch him? Did you, you must have, like, given him an air kiss when you saw him, like, hey, babe. I shook, I shook his hand. That is the most awkward thing ever. Well, I don't understand, because I find it really awkward when gays do it anyway. And then when my brother met Ed yesterday, um, they were a bit like, and then they hugged. Because uh, <laughs> they're like, what are you doing? I'm not going to sit and hug somebody I've you never met. You didn't shake his hand. Did I didn't shake his hand, yes. <sighs> I'm not going to be like, hey. It could be, I could, he could smell. I'm getting there for a whiff. No way. You need to know. I couldn't do that on a date. I found that really strange. We're shaking somebody's hand? Yeah. Like this. Yeah, that's weird. It's so hot because you, you get to feel how their grip is. And you're like, oh. oh. That's ne- needless to say, he did not have a hand, good handshake either. 
<laughs> yeah, it was. It was wet. His hand nearly fell through my hand. Oh, I was like, it was so, so wet. So soft and gross. Yeah, it wasn't. It was Jordan like, used to call this guy that I was seeing last um, year. He calls him Sweaty McGee because <laughs> he, he shook his hand. He was like, "God, man, his hand is really clammy." Oh my god, yeah, that's disgusting. Yeah, and it's like I'm not. <laughs> I get clammy hands when I'm nervous. So I always like I have to like if I'm about to meet clients and stuff. I like dr- run the sweat. That's you got sweaty I, hands. Yeah, like when I'm doing like I'm going. Uh, you were doing proud of me yesterday. We were in um, halfway to heaven, and Rose Garden was on this thing, and she's she's a drag queen from Belfast, and she's like a really thick Belfast accent. And she's like, "Is anyone else from Northern Ireland here?" And I said, "Yay!" And then me and me and her were sparring off the stage, and my heart was like thumping in my chest. And Drew was like, "Ooh, get, get you, you well done!" And I'm like, "Was a good performer." Ah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, oh my god, I was so like, because. Drag queen, and she's cutthroat as well. Like she's good. Too. Yeah, she is good. She um <clears throat> she doesn't hold back. Um, I'd already spilled Guinness down the front of my my white top as well, so I was already annoyed. Um, it's so funny. Ashley came in and was like, "Some bitch <laughs> spilled Guinness all over me," and it really upset me. <laughs> I spilled the Guinness on myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <was> like a good <laughs> um, classic Ashley. Yeah, it was like some fucker. But <laughs> it wasn't my fault, you know, nothing ever is. No. And they banged into me and I was like, oh, that's not even what happened either. I, you know, I was trying to make a joke about drinking this Guinness out of this plastic glass. And I was like, I was lapping it like a kitten. But it dribbled down my throat and then down here. And then I pulled it away and I poured it. So wet. <laughs> um, yeah, so the date wasn't that good. Oh. Yeah. Uh, the doctor says... Um... This Dr. Munir would advise anyone planning on throwing an orgy in an area with confirmed corona cases to think twice. If the government is closing down schools, mm-hmm. the same principle should apply to sex parties. Um, because in the age of coronavirus, an orgy is probably a bad idea. Yeah. yeah. But not all the time. Otherwise, it's a great idea. <laughs> I can just smell that McDonald's is making me really hungry. Yeah. <laughs> My mouth's watering. Um, I did actually read an mm. article afterwards. Um, two days later, they did cancel them in the end. Oh, okay. So they yeah. are cancelled. Yeah, yeah, they are cancelled. You should have a sex party here. I think so. To make up for it, all the the Americans can't fly over for it. No, no. Um, have one here anyway. We can do a live broadcast. Yeah, yeah. Because that's what I said. I mean, me and I don't have to fall in line in terms of our relationship. We, no. you know, we can have some form of openness if we want. Um, we said maybe once the honeymoon phase settles down. <laughs> Imagine, we're like, we actually really need each other, but in a couple of weeks' time, it might change. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is fair. But, you know, we've got a good understanding. We had a really good conversation today so um, about all these things. Good. I need to this time, I, in terms of my relationship, so, you know, not to get too deep, but I will, like, I feel like, and I think I've said it before to you maybe, that one of the biggest downfalls, if not the biggest one, of my previous relationship was my inability to open up and be, and have these conversations. Yeah, communication is so, a big thing. Absolutely, and I was just so bad at it, you know, and I, I pent up everything, and, you know, after everything and finding myself last year, I'm really making an effort to try and be as open as possible and, and mm. really be that way, um, and I said that to him, and I just, I would like to continue that way. I think, because a lot of, the two relationships I, I two relationships I've had as well, one of the biggest factors for both of the breakdowns was lack of communication. Mm-hmm. On my part, I'm bad at communicating, um, feelings and stuff like that. So what I would do if I was ever ever to go into a relationship before again, um, if I was ever going to a relationship again, I would let them know that I'm really bad at this and tell them to bring it out of bring it out of me. You know, you. you Okay, I mean, not to put the I was going to say onus on, on them. them. No, but like it's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, like if if I had a if I knew a part if if I knew something was detrimental and communication is key to a relationship, mm. and I they like me and I like them, and I knew they were struggling with something, I'd be like, you know, you can like a therapist, you know, you can lead them on a bit to talk about the stuff. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So I'm not saying all oh, my problems are your, not your problems. I'm saying let's meet each other halfway. I struggle with this. I you struggle if you're beauty regime and I can help you with that you mean balance well I think I've been like that in this in this situation as well actually mm. because he was really struggling with it and I don't think we would have decided to be together or he wouldn't have decided to be with me because he was pushing so much against it at the start because he was really struggling with his feelings mm. and we'd have these and he said one thing that's helped is he finds me really calming 
and these conversations have really helped me like you know bringing them up and drawing them mm. out so in one way it's been helpful for me to be able to start these conversations and it's also helped with him opening up as well and being mm. and honest and it's really sort of you know taking away a lot of his like fears and stuff of like commitment um, oh. which is really good and he's funny he's a funny guy everyone really likes him yeah you know? he is they funny. really liked him at the weekend and they were, made a point of saying that yeah and then he got really drunk and was like you know I really do like Matt and I was just like ah. not to me he said it but to them oh um, what no yeah mm-hmm. but it's nice when you're into someone like this yeah no it is it's fun I'm being cynical I'm enjoying yeah. it nice I'm happy for you. Yeah, so anyway, no sex orgies in America. I'm not here either by the signs of things. No, no. Well, we said we could do it. Um, they did ask me, like, would you be in a threesome with him? Because I, my, one of my worries is like... Who, yeah, who asked? Um, one of the lesbians. Those lesbians, sex in the mind. Um, well, I was talking... before He came the day after and I was like... And they were asking about him and then I was explaining, like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that we need to be in this very linear idea of a relationship if we mm. don't want to be. Um... And they were like, are you going to have sex with other people? And I was like, I don't know, maybe. We'll see what happens. Um, but we need to be open about it. I said to Ed today, like, this morning, we just need to talk about it. And if something does happen, I just want you to be able to tell me. And the same for me, like, I need to mm-hmm. be able to say it to you. Um, but I don't think, we said this before as well, I don't think I can have a threesome with someone that I'm in a relationship with. I need to be the third person because I'll, I'll be jealous. jealous. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But I also, somebody else is... Somebody's asking me to be in a threesome all the time. Uh, what, well, recently? All the time. Like, one, one this, this one couple, this one person, I'm like, I'm like you, I, you have no idea how unattractive I find the thought of you and your partner. They're attractive people, but I don't want to be in a... In particular, these two people, or just in general? I don't know. I just, I, I find it really... Somebody's always more into somebody else, and it's always <clears throat> awkward. And oh, that doesn't bother me. It bothers me because I'm the one that's made to feel awkward because I'm like, oh, I mean, obviously I fancy your partner more than I fancy you and you're picking up on that vibe. Oh, yeah. So, so what do I do? Do I tell you just maybe go make a cup of tea or... I was like, okay, girl, do you want to go get a tea? <laughs> but that's the thing. Yeah, yeah. You have to kind of try and be into them. That's why I guess you can't get to know them too well at the start beforehand and not have your your kind of set ideas of, you know, who you like more and things mm. like that kind of going in. But those things quickly come out in the chemistry, though. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I'll just wank. Yeah. Like I have done. That must be really bad, I guess, for the corona, maybe. I don't know if it is. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm um, I think it's fine. It just sort of... Sometimes stings because I put so much hand sanitizer on. God. Do you know what I mean? I couldn't do it just on my hands and stuff. But hand sanitizer. I don't like hand sanitizer. I never use it. I use it a lot. Like Even before? Yeah, I've always... Like, it's, it's rare I don't have any in my bag because I took it out of my bag this time in the other bag and I, bu- I literally bought if you look in my coat pocket now there's hand wipes because I forgot hand, because I had to buy something to, to clean my hands no no it's just dry and yeah that, they drew my, dry my hands out yeah. serious, but. cool well yeah no sex parties no no so many people must be let down I bet you their tickets are really expensive for this sanctum as well because you have to wear tux and a ball gown and mm. it's membership only well, do you know what? I can understand it's going to be expensive if you're going to go there and have a, like a threesome with Chris Pratt. Oh my God, I might apply. And Chris Hemsworth. Imagine. Chris Pratt, I don't know if I like that much anymore though because he's so religious online. Oh so. yeah, he is, he is. I, I find it really off-putting. It, it is, yeah. Yeah. We were playing yesterday, we were talking about the Hemsworth brothers mm. and I was like, okay, let's play, because there's three Hemsworth brothers and we're like, let's play Shag, Mary Kill. And I was like, right, okay. I would. Sh- uh, I don't know the different ones. So there's Thor, Chris Hemsworth, mm-hmm. and then there's Liam Hemsworth, who is in that film series with Jennifer Thingy. What's it called? Mockingjay and all that. Hunger Games. Is in Hunger Games. Well, these are the three. That's him. Yeah, 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 and then the other shorter. Oh, one. definitely not him. He, he would die. He's the. He's in Westworld. Um, what's his? I can't remember his He's name. He's Luke Hemsworth. Luke, yeah. So I said, hundred percent. and Chris. Yeah, I would. Me, I would. Uh, shag, Chris Hemsworth, marry Liam Hemsworth, and I'd blow, Luke Hemsworth. Blow. Yeah, That's I changed. Not an I changed the rules. No, he would die. Luke would die. <laughs> no, he's, Liam he's handsome. Would shag and Chris Hemsworth marry, hundred percent. He's not handsome either. Actually, what? Yeah. 
Liam Hemsworth's not handsome. Liam Hemsworth is the most handsome. Only Chris Hemsworth is hot. Hey, John. John's coming down. It's our signal to go. Anyway, guys, thank you for another episode. Do you have anything you want to talk about? Didn't you have something you wanted to talk about? No, I'm too hungover to talk about anything. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, <laughs> I'm, I'm on. All right. Fair enough. Yeah, plus um, John's yeah. here now. John's, yeah. Um, plus you've got some McDonald's to... We, yeah, that McDonald's going to go cold. Yeah. Look at you trying to speak. John, we didn't pass you the mic. <laughs> trying to get famous on our podcast. What's he like? <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. Thanks everyone for listening. Have a lovely week, Ashley. Yeah, I don't even know what Stay date safe. this is. This comes out. Yeah. Please use condoms. No need. For balloons. Making balloon animals. Balloons. Yeah. Um, for, yeah. Cool. Bye. Bye. Bye.